Welcome to Vintage Story. My name's Ashantin. I make tutorials. I also make Let's Plays. This tutorial just gives you a view of how you might survive your first three days easily. It is meant for people who are new to the game. I hope that you enjoy it. Good morning guys, welcome to Vintage Story. I thought I might have a look at creating a new world and having a look at what you will need for the first day. Let's do standard. Now you can customise this. Survival, realistic, world width, that's fine. All of that is fine. Now, if you are a new player to the game, you can drop your inventory contents or you can keep your inventory. I'm gonna keep your inventory, why not? Right, no timer, monsters spawn immediately. Let's have a look at that. Again, let's give ourselves two days before monsters appear. Creature strength, normal, hit points, fine. Hunger rate, normal, everything else, normal. Tool durability. Tool mining speed, 100. We'll see how we go with that. Temporal storms every 10 to 20 days. Surface copper deposit. Now, you need copper. Rare, very common. Let's go for very common. Let's not make life too difficult. Surface tin deposit. And again, I'm not that fussed about tin, but let's go for very common. So I've just made this game a lot easier for a single player. You don't have to do this. Let's apply it. Okay, let's create a world and see what we get. Beautiful screen, as you can see. Music's playing. Can we create a new world and survive our first day? Rolling hills, the vertical cliffs. Do you know, these pumpkins here, I have played over 300 hours on Vintage Story and I've never found pumpkins. I am very, very <laughs> anxious to see if we can find pumpkins. It may just be my world gem. Here we go, let's see what we've got as a spawn. Some spawns are easier than others. First of all, let's choose some clothes. Um, yeah, that looks nice. Nope. That one. Trousers, please. Those blue ones and boots I would like. Shepherd sandals, no, let's have some boots. Peasant slippers, come on, boots. Okay, we've got a choice. We'll have those. Confirm selection, go. Right, oh, look at this, guys. Now, the first thing to do is to look at your gear at the bottom. This is a neutral area, excellent. Now, the second thing is press M for a large map. Right click, color, red. Name, spawn, icon, it's a home base, save, there you are, now you know, now look we have a trader, we have ruins, these are good, this is a green area, this is rather a muddy area, right, so I think the direction we want to head in is this one, you get a log on the left, Okay, let's see what we can find. Now, the first thing to do, we're going to need sticks. Okay, and I don't like leaving stuff just lying around. Let's find some sticks. There we go. All right, there's a couple of sticks. Churchstone. I don't know if I can nap with churchstone. We'll have to have a look at that. Oh, pretty. Oh, what's this already? Lead. We won't be able to get that out at the moment, but that's a gift. Combine it with copper, you can make Molybda Chalkis, which is the most beautiful, beautiful, oh, copper. 
Right, we want to mark this. So you count M again, right click. We're gonna have uh, color. I always use orange for copper. Name, copper. You will thank yourself later for this. And we're gonna have to mine that. Save. We have our first copper marked. Excellent. Let's go and see what this trader has. Which is the way in it. Whatever you do, guys, you cannot steal from the traders. You can't break the blocks. More importantly, if you try to steal from them, they'll kill you. Guild! Oh, you're a food trader. So you want all these things we haven't got in exchange for food, which we haven't got. Okay. Right, food trader. Now what I can see, let's just come over here. What's that? Shale, I don't think that's terribly useful. Hello, chicken. Mmm, that's nice. Look, we've got grass, medium, short, a trader. And if I can find some stone, we can cut these. But I need to find stone. Absolutely essential to find stone. Is that still shale? Hmm. I have a horrible feeling. Let's just see if we can nap this. Let's get an empty space. Right, let's press shift, right click. Can I nap this? I just threw my stone away. Come here. No, not working. All right, I was heading over here. We've got a clay area. These shell stones aren't doing me much good. I'm in the wrong type of area. Be careful of the rams, guys. They will kill you. Flint. Oh, thank God. Can I nap flint? And berry bushes. Berry bushes are absolutely key. Take the fruit, it's your first food. Take that with you. All right, and we have fire clay. Oh my goodness. Right, what a lucky spawn. Press the map, right click, and I would normally put this also in red. Name, fire clay. Brilliant. And again, that's something you have to dig out. So let's put that in. Wonderful. I didn't save. If you don't save, you don't get. Red, name, far clay. I get too excited and I don't save. Always a problem. Save. It's not liking the red. What did I do wrong then? I must have put a space in. Save. Yes. Perfect. Now we've got, let me just have a look at that map again. Yeah, we've got some ruins. There. This way. Let's see if we can go and we will look on the way. shale again wow oh excellent this is one of the viaducts or aqueducts a nice ruin they don't have an awful lot of loot in and what type of loot vessel is this um, i need to get rid of this grass that's growing on top of it forage excellent oh my goodness look at that 10 sticks straight away and that is, I believe, granite stone. Perfect. So let's put our let's put our flint on the floor. Let's just find a, a space. Right now, I can nap using these granite stones. Um, right. 
actually let's just do this to start with right let's get a you press these little yellow things and they will give you the right outline here it's one of these things where you if you have more haste you actually have less speed there we go and that gives me two stone knives because you have a I mean this is your inventory at the moment guys which is not much let's get those two sorted right okay and what I don't want is that. So let's get rid of that, said she, hopefully. Right, now, we had, we need reeds, shell, that's flint, excellent. Now, there's another ruin over there. Yep, I can see it, wow, two ruins and a trader. Not a bad spawn, just for a sort of random one. I just picked the first one that came. Cranberry bush, we're having you. Food, yes please. Food, yes please. Oh, tool. Oh my goodness. I got a shovel. How fantastic. I need more storage. I need to let's there aren't any bulrushes here. Are there any over here? I mean I could dig out these ruins. Um I want to go that way. I'm looking I think I there were some in this original area. Quite a nice area, this. Oh, right. You go. Oh, hello. Do not kill me. Please do not kill me. Theoretically, they shouldn't kill you, but they might. Oh, look at that. Oh, you're chase. Oh, gosh. Right. I've died. Right. Respawn. Now this is where the beauty of keeping your inventory comes in. And we were over there in that region. Let's have a look down here. Let me just press the tab. Yeah, I've been killed already. That's why I keep my inventory on if you want to make life easy. If you want to make life difficult, don't keep the inventory. Now is this cranberry bush? Excellent. I'm gathering all the same sort of bush. And when I decide where to set up, I'm going to put these down. And in the meantime, I have some food. So you can see you will recover. If you die, you recover your health. But also if you eat food, it will recover. There are bulrushes over there. Cooper's reeds, they're called. Right, let's take you. Right, we've eaten. Now let's come down here. And we need to collect these. Ooh. Ooh, ho, ho, ho. Yeah, that's just a hole in the ground. It's not a cave. But it's a fair indication there may well be caves around here. So, let's get, I think it's ten of these to start with. Just take the tops until you decide, well, you can take the roots, which would serve as food. Or you can decide to leave them there. Eight. Now, that should give us a basket. You can just drag this round. There we are. Basket in your slot, you have three more. And it's just worth harvesting every reed you can get because inventory is at an absolute premium at the beginning of the game. And then you, so this is all good stuff. You now have 
a basic tool. We have a couple of flints. We have some sticks, which we could have collected off the ground. And look, we've got wood over there. Wonderful, that will make far wood. Good. And you can see on the knife, if I just point to this, you can see how the durability is going down. Good, we've taken a we've taken a a route. I'm if you do that by accident. And given that I know where this pond with cattails is, I'm quite reluctant to eat the roots. That's just a personal thing. So what we can do is to let's pop the those in there. If you want to plant a cattail roof root, you just shift and right click and it's planted again. If you cut it by accident, there's no need to just throw it away. Another one, we've got some more down there. Another 15. Well, yeah, more inventory. Let's get these together. That's another three inventory slots. So we can go up as far as we can. I mean, this is very good finding all this. This wind is blowing very, very strongly in this area. All right, we don't need more sticks at the moment. But look, these are the sticks you find on the ground. Now, this is a birch area. Listen out for wolves. Sticks on the ground because you often find wolves in these sorts of areas. You can pick up sticks with your hands, guys. You don't have to use a knife on them on the ground. So pick up sticks. So already we've got food from the berries. We've got inventory from the reeds. We were exceptionally lucky to find a shovel. Now the other thing you're going to need on day one for a fire, you're going to need firewood Oh, gosh, that was a baby pig. Let's get another basket going. Perfect. Right. Okay. There we go. Nine. Then you will be great beware of the pigs the sheep are the worst actually oh um, that was not good just gather them all together and then let's get that's the final basket that's your maximum inventory to start with but if you decide where you're going to have a base and I have to say having a base in this area I think close to spawn is very useful the trader isn't particularly useful. We've got baby pigs here, so I'm living dangerously. Yeah, that baby pig, I don't want to go too near that one because the mother pig might come and kill me if it thinks its baby is in difficulty. Where's that mother pig? Can't see it. Hmm. Oh, and more copper. Now you've got more inventory, start picking up the copper. You're really going to need it. Okay, there we go. 17. Let me mark this. Can't help it, guys. Uh, where are, am I? I'm here. Right, colour list. Orange. See me do this a lot. But you will be grateful for every single one of these. Save. Good. And then what you can do is just pick up the copper. And these surface copper little bits come up as nuggets. I've got five nuggets already. There we go. The other thing I want to make is a spear. I'm very keen to get these reeds. The sun is going down. Now, I've not 
had drifters that are the monsters that come out at night. I've given myself two days grace. It used to be automatic that when you started a new world, you got three days grace. That's no longer the case. You can choose what grace you get. I'm trying to get enough to make a solid basket here. Oh, first knife has gone. Right, let's try and get the rest of these. There we go. And that, guys, is the sound of a wolf in the distance, we hope. Let's just press shift. You need an axe to start with. Even though the drifters don't start, the wolves are there from the beginning. And oh, if you have an area, and some people have spawned in, right next to a wolf spawn area I would strongly advise that you move before the night and what I'm going to make is a spearhead where's the spearhead yeah it's very frightening at night when you have drifters and it's not that much fun when you have wolves around. Right, let's make a spear like that. Pop it in there. Let's put the... Can you hear the ducks? Okay, we don't have ducks. Right, now we have an axe. I would like some wood before the night, please. You don't cut wood in the same way as Minecraft if you're Minecraft players. You just cut the bottom one and the rest will fall down. There we are, we have some wood. And you get sticks as well. Now that's a pig. Right, let's move away from this area. Wolves and trees go together. So, we have a spear, we have some wood. Now what we're also going to need, ah, wow, that's a large cave, is some grass for the night. We're going to need at least three. Now, I'm going to head back to that trader because there is the, poss ooh, the possibility, you have to be pretty careful you don't fall down these holes, um, that we could stay in his house for the night they are good shelter and you will find that many spawn points have got traders near them lead excellent i love lead let's put blue that sound right lead and that will have to be mined out save right look at all these places we've got to go that sound um, i'm not taking the lead now i know where it is and i can't use it at the moment i'm heading for this trader have i got am i over copper yeah let's mark the copper Every marking you put in, yeah, will help. And it means that you can come back to the copper and take the bits off the surface. Save, right. Okay. Let's get it up with a. We don't need to use our knife on that. Okay. Right, let's go and see the trader. To get rid of the writing on the left, you just press tab. And if you want it up, you press T. Because what you can do... See, we're running a bit low on food here. 
Yeah, I need a torch. So we seem to be in a reasonable area here. Yeah, but he's got light. We haven't. Right, let's just clear a little bit of space for ourselves. Sorry it's a bit dark, guys. All right, now. I think I'm just shy. I think I need... Yeah, I'm just shy of enough to have a permanent... Oh, no, I can do it. Excellent. That's a permanent basket. Good. That will help. Now, I need grass. And I also need firewood. Now, you put your axe in there. And you put your stick, your um, wood in there. Click shift and you've got 24 firewood. You also need to make a fire starter, which is two sticks and a piece of grass. There you go. All right, so. The night is absolutely beautiful, provided nothing is hunting you. Let's get our grass down here. I'm sorry it's so dark, guys. Let's try and make some light. If we put down a piece of grass, then one, two, three, four pieces of firewood. Take your fire lighter. And you're like rubbing two sticks together. Now it's lit. Okay, now the first thing to do I think a cheerful fire is to put some sticks in there and if you watch this bar this shows you how much firewood you've got sticks will burn at 700 degrees this is nowhere near but we have a torch now your hunger will go down quicker if you have it in your off hand but it's still useful to have so we want some torches keep burning torches until this goes out another torch one more otherwise we're wasting the fire come on oh there we go Let's see if we can get one more torch out of this Yeah, we're almost out of food completely. Right. Save our bit of firewood. Okay. Now that's going to burn down and need to be relit. You could put a torch on the ground or... Uh, and by the way, you can store firewood on the ground. You don't have to store it here. Or what we could do, let's see if we can make a straw bale. Uh, I want... One, two, oh, I just need a bit more. So let's cut. Now you can see what you're doing at night with the straw or the hay or the grass, whatever you want to call it. It's all the same stuff. I want another six. There we go. Three of those. And if we take this out, we can put them in line, make a pallet. Now we've got 11, that on 20 pieces will make one copper ingot. And we need about 40 pieces, so we need to go and hunt for copper. But let's see where the moon is. It is coming up. Let's see if this trader's got a bed in here. Whatever you do, don't you let your trader out. I mean, they'll, they'll stay in the area, but it's easier to find them. None of this can be taken, even these beautiful gears. So just go in his bed and you can sleep with a trader in the first night. Now you don't sleep the whole night, you sleep about six hours. But nonetheless, it's a great thing to do. Monsters begin to appear, how nice. 
Right, so much for the two days. Right, let's escape. All right, now. I think it would be nice to make a base here. I quite like the idea of living near this trader. The other thing is this, if you look at the soil, it's medium fertility, which is about all you can hope for. You've not got woods near, so you're not near a wolf spawning point. Another plus. So what I might do is just put a little note here, press click, and I'm going to do red again, and I'm going to put base camp. And I'm going to put a red house. Save. Perfect. So we know where our base is. Always a plus. And then because we've got this basket, what we can do is to put that down and then that is non-mobile storage. So we can't do anything with these yet. Um, let's leave our pallet here because we can sleep with the trader. We'll take all that with us. We need the food. But what we need to do is to plant these. And the other raccoons will eat berries, guys. So if we start by planting these... they will give us food eventually. Oop. I think I'll take that one right away from there. So I might put a wall there and put that there. Okay. Right, now, we've got some firewood. Firewood doesn't have to be carried with you. The great thing is it can be put down. So you can just put it in a pile like that. So we've got some storage, some firewood. We've got our fire starter with her. We've got a flint. And I think I might put a spare torch there. Okay. Now we have to think about keeping ourselves protected from monsters and also about food. Let's go this way, being very careful at night, not, oh, more copper. Is that one marked? No, right. I remember I upped the amount of copper, guys. Um, you're gonna get bored with me doing this, but if you wanna start a new world, it is worth doing it. Copper. Say, uh, no, that's for deeper ones. Save. Okay. Good. Press M to close it. Right. So many waypoints, and I've only just started. Right. Let's look on the ground. We found a bit more copper. I am looking for berry bushes, chert stones not interested. Let's look round the edges here, see if we can find, oh look at the moon. More copper of course because I upped the amount. Um, right click. Yeah, name Copper is very close to the surface. Once you get just a little bit of surface copper, you need to make a hammer. At five, seven, that's great. Let's press the tab. I need food. I'm gonna to starve to death if I'm not careful. You're going in this way. Look for berry bushes look for food now now we've got some 
solid storage. I can come out here and harvest more, but this is what the crops look like. This is spelt, mature spelt. You get a seed. Excellent. Three seeds, but you can eat the spelt. So eat it straight away. It'll fill you up. Good. It won't fill you up. And then we've got some more berries. So those can be eaten. Okay, and then you want to take the berry bushes with you. Okay. Right, so we've got some more berry bushes. We've got seven copper. Don't want to go too close to those animals. What have we got around here? I'm skirting. There's a heavily wooded area over there. And I suspect that there might be wolves. <gasps> now, this, guys, is absolute gold. Terra Preta. Oh my goodness me. Black gold. Never pass a patch. I mean, you can mark it. If you don't have a shovel, don't, you know, you can't get it up. But you have to, it doesn't show from the top. You can only see it from the side. But this, guys, this is a fantastic find. This will make your crops grow so much quicker. And this is a really, really good find. I'm short of wood and I'm short of food. Gosh, look at that. Is that Terra Preta too? Oh, it is. Oh my goodness. Wow. I get really excited about Terra Preta. So what have we got? Oh, we've got... Now this is the sort of copper you can't get. It's copper in a mountain. Um, but... And that's got to be... Orange... Copper... Save. More copper. Yeah. Yep, I have storage. My goodness me. Let me take that off. Right, now let's have a look at what we've got around here. I want this tree. Shale again. Yeah. So I've got a stick there, that's nice. Let's take some more wood. The one thing you have to be a bit careful of, especially going up these mountains, is that they are, oh nice, we'll have you. And your root. Oh my goodness, look at this beautiful area. Now be careful that you don't go down somewhere you can't get up again. But let's take the reeds and the roots. Okay, now you can swim. Just And if you angle upwards, you can swim on the surface. I want to see what this is over here. I think that's flint, but it might not be. It's flint in shale. Don't particularly need that. But I want the cattails. Um, actually, I'm in a bit of a dead end area. I'm going to get myself in a mess here. I need to come. That was the way I came in but there's more berry bushes here. 
and you c let's take these Yeah, don't have to cut these with a knife. Right, let's have a look at growing flax. I don't need flax at the moment. Is that flint? Brilliant. Now I've got three spelt seeds. I've got cranberry bushes and red currant bushes. Have I been able to pick those up? Yes, I have. I don't want to go up there. I want to come round here and I would really like to get some you can only get out of water where it's one deep by the way guys that's why I say be careful where you go down because you might not be able to get up now I've got a shovel I'm going to use here and be very careful you can get landslides but I want to take some earth and that looks pretty safe because it's next to rock. I want to take enough earth to buy myself a shelter. Oh, that's a different type of earth. Right, we're going to have to go for the poor earth. And seeing as I'm going to build a shelter with it, that's not too hard. a bit of hillside here but the rock is more stable than earth will be so yeah let's take the hillside down okay let's go back to where we're making a base what is this Oh, that's the earth I couldn't take. All right, now I need to go back to my base, which is, yep, I'm going in the right direction. It's amazing how far you wander without knowing it. Be careful of that, guys. You can go along. Ooh, spelt, and the seed we have is spelt. Um, let me just eat those berries. Ah, I didn't get the seed. Sometimes you get a seed, sometimes you don't. Only the mature spelt will give you food. There we go, we can see where we are. Oh look, these little forget-me-nots. Beautiful flowers around. But let's get back and plant our berry bushes. If we have to, we can roast the cattail roots. I would prefer not to. I'd prefer to find some more food but if I'm stuck now these are cranberry bushes that's fine we can take those but what I really want is food lovely Good. Let's eat the red currants first. We've got less of those. Let's come back to our base, which is over here. We've got 11 berries. Look at this, guys. Now, let's see. The one thing we don't want to build with is terra preta. Let's just save that to a bit further down the line. Okay, let's get our bushes down first. We'll put those in there. We've got 18, we need two more. Right. Okay, so let's just put some more bushes down. Okay. I'm just putting this so that I, I mean you can walk through the bushes but it's slightly nicer 
to be able to have a pathway through them. Good. The bushes are down. Now the ones we've put down, they take about three or four days to flower. So you won't have any food, more food from them for three or four days. In the meantime, let's try and get some shelter from the drifters. Okay, this is going to be seriously primitive. Oops. You can just break these like this. There we go. Two. Wow. I'm going to need some more. Oh, that's not too bad. Don't have to fill the corners in. That's too high all the way around. Now, I want some more grass. Ah, oh, my knife's broken. How much grass have I got? Well, I've got enough for a bale. So, as a door, I can start, I think, putting a bit of wood there. Let's just put Now you, you're out in the rain, so unless you can get a roof, you're going to get a drift. Now grass roofs are just fine, and I need another knife. I've got five sticks. Can I get more sticks here? No, these are just bushes. They're not... Ah, oh, there's one. You have to look for the ones with the black bits in because they've got the sticks. Yeah, okay. All right, let's make another knife. We've got a spear. Knife. Here we go again. You can, of course, nap out of rocks. Flint is particularly good. There we go. Two more knives. How many sticks have we got? That's one knife. Two knives. Right. Now, I actually would like more sticks and I'd like a lot more hay for a roof. And why do I want more sticks? Because I want to make a tool rack and a ladder, which will help me enormously to start with. I want to try and get a, I think, yeah. Those have got sticks in. Good. And then is that stick seven? Wow, maybe I wasn't getting sticks. I thought I was. Eight, yeah, I'm getting sticks. Okay. Yeah, that's a stick. Looking for the black bits. Hard to tell, really. Go around normally at the bottom of the bushes. Yeah, good. A couple more there. Eleven. Okay. And plenty more hay. Got far wood. We've got plenty of reeds here. You hear the water lapping. Uh, Four thirty-seven. Uh, whoops. Yeah, that's going to make three bales. 
Gosh, it takes a lot of bales to make a roof, I'll tell you that, guys. I'm keeping the soil on me. Then if I, oh, I've got a sapling, how nice. Okay, let's plant that near our house. And what I need to do is to take the torch out of my off hand because it is soaking up my energy. Have I got that marked? I have. Let's pick that one up. Two more. Right, where's our base? It's there. Oh, wow. <laughs> now, this is not good because something can come up there. So we want to make sure they can't stand on these berry blocks. Okay, that's pretty well there. Right, let's get our hay bales up. Okay, and let's get them over the fire. <laughs> right, let's eat some berries. Now, let me have a look at the big map. I've got, I've got fire clay here. Can I see? I think that might be ordinary clay there. So if I keep going in this direction, it might be gravel, but it might be ordinary clay. Let's have a quick look. Shale again. Gosh, so much. Just loose bushes. It's that way, isn't it? Is that gravel or is it clay? It, oh, no, it's there. I think there's clay under here. Can you see this funny pattern? Blue clay. Perfect. Now my... I want as much of this as I can get. Because this is going to make me a crucible for smelting the... Yeah. Alright. We'll take it out by hand. It's longer, but we can do it. I could make a flint shovel. I want to keep the flints in case I need spears. It'd be better if I took the grass up, then I can see what I'm doing. Ah, it's gone again. Now I've got 29 there. You need quite a bit to make crucibles and moulds. Get this out of the way. Just break it with your hands, guys. Don't have to do anything more than that. And as I'm breaking this on top, the clay is becoming more apparent on the map. See that? You can see what I'm working in, guys. Let me just put this pale area. That pale area is far clay. This is the other clay. Press M to make it smaller. How much have I got? 47. Let's take a bit more. Where's the sun? Got a bit of time yet. Let's take more of the grass. Okay, right, here we go, I love the music, now, 60, that'll do, right, let's go back to our base.
Well guys, I hope you enjoyed part one of this tutorial. Please join me for part two. If you like it, leave a like. You can always subscribe to me on YouTube. Bye bye.